NASA has found a rock on Mars that, and I'm quoting now, may have hosted microbial life, making it the most exciting sample collected by the Perseverance rover in its hunt for extraterrestrial organisms. The six-wheeled rover has been exploring an ancient river valley formed when water coursed through the Jezero crater billions of years ago when Mars was still a watery world. It discovered a rock measuring one meter by 0.6 meters, shaped like an arrowhead on the Martian surface that, and I'm quoting again, exhibits chemical signatures and structures that could possibly have been formed by life billions of years ago. Dr Sanjeev Gupta is Professor of Earth Science at Imperial College London, who is working on the NASA mission Perseverance that found this rock. Thank you very much indeed for coming on. Um, how excited should one be getting about this rock, do you think? I think we should be pretty excited. Um, it's not clear evidence for life, but it's telling us clues that potentially there was life on Mars and we need to investigate it further. So it's what we call a possible signature of biology, if you like. So it's the first thing, it's the first time we've seen something like this. And mm. when you see features like this on Earth in rocks, ancient rocks on Earth, they're often formed or associated with microbial life. So it's not certain, but it's one step towards answering that question. So what have you actually seen? that gives you cause to be this excited, Doctor? Um, yeah, this this rock is beautiful. We came up to it, we drove up to it, and we looked down on this rock, and I was working on the rover at the time. No. And, yeah, and we could see these beautiful spots in the rock. They look like, we call them leopard spots, because they the rock is red, and then the centre of the spots is white, and there's a dark rim around it. And then we've been able to analyse this in detail with the chemistry instruments on the rover, take detailed images, etc. And also we used another instrument called Sherlock that is able to detect, looks for organic matter. And we also discovered organic matter in this rock. So we got two different signatures. Wow. One is the organic matter and one of these spots, which on Earth can sometimes, sometimes I say, so I'm being cautious here, be formed by microbes. So, um, you know, we're pretty excited because it's, you know, we're not going to find fossils or dinosaur veins or something like that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, here we have something that and the key thing is that this mission is about collecting samples that will come back to Earth in the future. So we've collected tens of samples already. And sometime in the 2030s, um, funding permitting um, in this incredible uh, plan that NASA and the European Space Agency have that the UK is part of also, is that these rocks will be returned to Earth to be mm. analysed in Earth laboratories. I think it's only in Earth laboratories we can really tell if this life occurred on Mars. So just talk me through that moment, Professor, of I, I, are you literally at the in the control room of the rover or you're moving it around, you're pootling around Mars on this thing and you go, what the hell is that? So we all work online, so the engineers are all in California and I'm actually talking to you from California at the moment because we've just had a Mars meeting to discuss these and many other findings. Wow. So it was kind of a coincidence we were all here. But what happens is that the science team is all working online and we drive up to a location. And we've been looking at this for the past week, I think, or something like that. And some, when we got up to there, everybody saw saw the images that came down. So, wow, look at these strange things. And then we started investigating them and thinking about them. And, um, you know, obviously there's lots of analysis to go on. This is a first result and we're putting it out there to, to the public to, you know, um, they're so distinctive that people would notice them anyway. Yes. So, um, and, Can I know, see it? Is there an image for me to see somewhere? Was, has that been released yet? Yes, that's right. So there was a oh, press that's... release from NASA and that's all available. And, there's, and we also took a beautiful selfie. So the rover has a no. camera at the end arm and it can turn around and take a picture of itself so it's the road you see the selfie and the rover is actually proudly looking at this beautiful rock that it's discovered it's so absolutely it's incredible yeah. what in in your when you allow yourself to get very excited about this professor what do you think could have caused it so i don't think we there was life in the way that we see on modern day earth etc but um if you go back to the earliest, so the rocks we're looking at are billions and billions of years old. So we go to equivalent rocks on Earth, which we tend to find in Australia and South Africa. Mm -hmm. We see dark material, sort of layers that were formed by microbes on the sea floor or on a lake floor or in riverbeds at that time. So it's very, very simple life. 
and we're really looking for the chemical signatures of these things. So I don't think we're going to see uh, fossils in the way that you mm. imagine fossils that you might find down in Dorset or somewhere like that. But um, we're looking at the earliest stages of life formation. And for me, it seems surprising that if we had life forming on Earth three and a half billion years ago, why? And we had the right conditions. Mm. We know absolutely on Mars, you know, the mission has shown this, that there was abundant water present on the surface of Mars at that time. It seems surprising that life didn't form mm. on the surface at that time. So, and then if it didn't form a, on Mars, that makes us very special and we need to think about that. So this is really, it is the it is a fundamental philosophical question, are yeah. we, at the universe? Um, uh, but this rock or elements of this rock are going to have to come back to Earth at some stage to be looked at in a laboratory here. Do we have any idea when that might be? So, um, at the moment, we're collecting samples. So the idea is that we will carry on collecting samples, exploring. We're now going into an area where we're looking at the oldest rocks anywhere in the solar system <laughs> in some ways. Wow. They're older than anything on Earth. And we will collect samples from those. And the idea is that in about 2029, there will be a mission that will land on Mars and the rover will deliver the samples to that mission. Goodness and that mission will then launch into Mars orbit um, but we don't know exactly know when that's going to happen. Yeah. So some people say 2029, but it might be in the mid 2030s. So it's going to take a while. I'm just trying to imagine you on a sort of Teams Zoom call with your colleagues. Are you all watching a kind of live feed of the rover as it roves around Mars? No, unfortunately Damn. not. That would be lovely, but because of the time delay, yes. the, the Mars day is 40 minutes longer than an Earth day. So we basically what we do is we essentially... When we drive up to somewhere, we get images down and then we send a series of commands. We tell the rover what we'd like it to do and then it happens and then we get the commands back. So it's, it's like we, we will work in an Earth day yeah. and then whilst we're sleeping, the rover is not uh, will carry those out. It would be lovely to have that, but just because it takes um, 14 minutes for a signal to go from Earth to Mars and come back again, we can't do that. I, I I doff my cap to you. I take my hat off to you. I you know, I think it is absolutely extraordinary and wonderful, and um, it is a, a a source of optimism in what sometimes can be a very pessimistic world. Thank you so much for coming on and giving up your time, Professor. Good luck with it, Professor Dr. Sanjeev Gupta, Professor of Earth Science at Imperial College London, working on that Perseverance NASA mission that found this rock. Oh, I love it so. It is endlessly fascinating.